Hi everyone, this is Chicho. As always, uh, welcome to my channel. Now, what I wanted to do um, is sort of uh, do a thank you video. Um, as, as you've noticed in the last couple of videos, I've been uh, sort of on a reading spree, um, catching up on a fair bit of readings of articles that I wanted to read. And uh, about four or five videos ago or something like this, I mentioned that um, I wanted to delve into um, science fiction read. I showed you um, my sci-fi fantasy collection, book collection, and um, I sort of showed you some of the books that I've read. I recommended some of the books that I've read anyway uh, from that collection. It was a whole bunch of books that I hadn't read, and I asked for recommendations on what I could uh, what series I could read or what solo book that I could read and there's a lot of comments put on that video and thank you everyone for all your comments uh, I looked up some of those uh, actually all of the all of the recommendations that were given I looked up every single book that was uh, recommended and wow 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 there's so much reading to do so much reading to do right and um, there was one series I decided to start reading uh, because it, had a few recommendations and was from an author that I had a few of the books on my shelf and um, I want to send out a special thank you to the people that recommended that and seconded third fourth uh, motion that read uh, as a recommendation and and it's um, Raymond E. Feist uh, the magician uh, trilogy and I guess it's a four issues uh, four set now because uh, from what I understand he took uh, Raymond uh, Raymond Feist took um, the magician uh, the first book that he originally published and he broke it down into um, magician apprentice and magician master and I'm you know I'm not that deep into it I started reading it uh, last week or so or I guess a couple of weeks ago I read a little bit and I held off let it sink in make me realize I'm about to start a you know a trilogy basically and um, and that's sort of the way I sort of read most of my books most of my science fiction and most of my other books as well I sort of read a little bit and put it close to me that I know that I'm going to be going back and reading this thing again uh, because I have a few different reads going at the same time usually and then I keep on reading I keep on reading and when I, when I hit a certain point where it where the book totally absorbs me I sort of go ballistic and I just uh, read it every opportunity I get and that's the stage that I'm in with this book right now okay um, and just uh, just to let you know what got me what really grabbed me and I'm not gonna give uh, spoilers on this I didn't I don't even recommend anyone that reading wanted to pick up this book don't even read the description right I read uh, I read uh, to the part where it really grabbed me and then I went wow right and I read the description and it gave spoilers to what was coming up fairly you know soon after where I was but that spoiler uh, I didn't like reading that spoiler so don't even read this um, read the description maybe if you look it up online uh, but I highly recommend not reading any spoilers for this uh, and that's and the chapter really the section or the little part of the chapter that really really grabbed me from this book was chapter four and if you read this series uh, it's like right at the beginning it's chapter four and it's where um, Pag and the princess uh, go for a horse ride uh, go for the ride and what occurs uh, during that event uh, during that day during those few hours um, it was brilliant uh, just a just a description of what takes place at the river at the mound and uh, during that outing and how uh, I mean it's sword and sorcery so there's magic involved and how the magic plays out it was magnificent really and it really grasped me and it like, grabbed me and I uh, and I really wanted to make this video to come and come out and say thank you very much for making those recommendations and thank you for everyone else that made the other recommendations as well I just happened um, 
to decide on this because it was a I think four or five people recommended it and um, again I did you know I do have these books uh, so I will be continuing reading this and definitely I will be reading this to the end and I believe there's a couple of other follow-ups to this trilogy as well okay and um, just on that note since I'm making sort of a thank you video uh, for your recommendations uh, over the last couple of years there's been or longer than that there's been a few recommendations coming my way um, since I've been recommending other things myself right uh, one of the first recommendation videos that I ever made uh, was making some book recommendations because people were asking me what textbooks what math books uh, I have and um, if they could rec if I could recommend some math books to them and I picked up a couple of math books math book physics books and I showed uh, Jeff Smith bone in that collection in that video as well recommendation video as well and during that time and this was back in I guess 2009 2008 maybe even 2007 possibly right uh, during that time someone recommended that I start reading The Walking Dead it was a period where I wasn't reading uh, comic books I was taking a hiatus from comic books um, and uh, and they recommended that I read The Walking Dead and I did I started reading it um, took me about a week to read about seven or eight issues and in the next week uh, just like you know the magician I, there was, I reached a certain point where it really grabbed me and so it took me a week to read The Walking Dead like about I don't know let's say less than 10 issues and in the following week, week I read uh, up to number 68 right so I just went ballistic on it I couldn't stop reading right uh, so thank you for the person that recommended The Walking Dead to me many 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 years ago uh, it got me back actually into reading comic books and one of the reasons uh, I was talking with someone uh, recently one of the reasons that I I believe I took a hiatus on reading comic books and I really delved back into reading comic books uh, a few years ago when collecting again in a big way was because uh, I didn't know this but basically uh, because of my reading glasses uh, I guess my eyesight was going weaker over the years and once I started getting the reading glasses and picked up comic books again and uh, it just became vibrant so if you find yourself uh, just a little note if you find yourself some of the things that you're reading they're a little blurry and stuff like this I uh, highly recommend getting yourself reading glasses uh, it may give you the incentive you need or the boost you need and or the motivation you need um, to start reading heavy again um, so that's sort of a side note I guess uh, but a couple of uh, some other recommendations that people have made recently uh, that I just wanted to send out a thank you on um, I made a video of my favorite war movies uh, someone uh, recommended that I watch Johnny got his gun and I did and it's a 1971 movie it's based on a book by um, Dalton Trumbo I haven't read the book but uh, the movie uh, from 1971 fantastic right it's up there as uh, my favorite war movies right some of my favorite war movies it's very 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 heavy right very heavy uh, very important movie and I'm assuming the book is like, very important as well it was written the book was written in 1938 and it's um, it's it's uh, I highly recommend it and thank you to the person that recommended this movie and um, just since we're talking about it I just recently watched um, Mr. Nobody it's a movie that came out in um, I guess it came out last year it's either I think it's 2016 that it came out or 2015 or last couple of years anyway and um, it's a science fiction movie uh, Mr. Nobody um, and it it didn't get really high reviews but it was a brilliant movie and it's a movie that uh, it's uh, there's a lot of tribute in that movie to other movies right and the reason I'm mentioning mr. nobody because 
um, is because there's a part in Mr. Nobody where uh, there's segments of it that are a tribute to Johnny Got His Gun. Okay, and if you've watched Johnny Got His Gun, 100%, 100% watch Mr. Nobody. Okay, because um, it'll put a smile on your face that an intricate movie like this, uh, like Mr. Nobody's science fiction movie, is making a tribute to this brilliant movie from 1971, uh, Johnny Got His Gun. And in Mr. Nobody, there's tributes to other movies as well. And one of the ones that really stood out as a theme throughout the whole movie is a tribute to a, to a Hong Kong Chinese movie, um, uh, 2046. And it's a brilliant movie, 2046. I think I've mentioned this movie before. Uh, it's an amazing movie. It's visually stunning, visually stunning, right? Uh, like many Asian movies. Uh, they're visually absolutely brilliant. Um, and the ones I've mainly been exposed to is Korean, Chinese, um, and Japanese movies. And there's uh, some other movies that I've seen from some of the other countries from Asia as well. Um, but Mr. Nobody, the whole, th not the theme, but the presentation of that movie is really a tribute, uh, in my opinion, to 2046. And 2046 is the second part of a, or a third part, I believe, or a second part. Anyway, it's a follow-up to um, the movie In the Mood for Love, which is from the same director, I believe, okay? So there's, I guess, uh, four movies there. One of them being Johnny Got His Gun. That was recommended to me to watch, and thank you for that recommendation. Um, there was a couple other recommendations that, that I wanted to mention. Um, and I have some other recommendations that I'm going to give you uh, after I just mention these and thank you guys uh, for these recommendations. Uh, for the animation stuff, I, as you know, I'm heavy duty into animation. I love my animation. Uh, and when I start talking about animation, animation there's some people that recommend it, that I watch um, the series Darker Than Black, and I did. And I watched it a few months ago. As, as soon as the recommendation my, was made, I sort of looked it up and it looked fantastic. So I watched it. Um, it's 25 episodes and it's a fantastic series. It, it was a lot of fun. And um, it's basically a sci-fi uh, series based on uh, special people having powers and the way the society is laid out. Uh, fantastic series, fantastic series. Highly recommended if you like... Um, uh, animation like uh, Death Note or some of the other animations that I've mentioned. Um, another animation that was recommended to me to watch, I'm not sure if it came through a video, but I, I think it came through um, one of my students that I teach in real life. And uh, he's a huge animation fan and he knows that I'm a huge animation fan. And he recommended that I watch One Punch Man. And I did. And I did a, I did a marathon on it. I, I, you know, I was able to download it uh, online so as soon as I watched the first episode I did a marathon on it and watched the whole thing in like two days right fantastic series one punch man and from what I understand um, there's going to be more coming out there's only one season they did this in 2015 but I believe they're making more um, I haven't read the manga yet uh, but it's fantastic um, and on that note, there's another uh, series. If you like One Punch Man, um, another series that I started watching due to a recommendation from my student, uh, which is My Hero Academy. And I just finished season one of My Hero Academy. And it's a fantastic series. And from what I understand, and he's deep into animation, he's mentioning that uh, this series most likely is going to continue on for a very long time. And season two is started this year as well so my hero academy is well worth watching as well if you enjoyed one punch man i think one punch man is uh, a step above uh, my hero academy for right now uh it's brilliantly made uh but my hero academy is well worth watching as well um there was another recommendation that came through the videos um from you guys that uh I ended up watching and it was an animation movie uh, and it's 2000 and it came out in 2009 
and it's a red line and uh, what a great movie what a great movie fast pace and the animation is absolutely brilliant and i believe it's uh well i know it's it, madhouse incorporated uh, madhouse inc is a japanese animation studio that has produced a lot of work uh, like i've watched multiple movies and tv series from madhouse um and i believe they also made uh, they produced one punch man but it's uh, red line it was a fantastic recommendation i really enjoyed watching it um it's sort of a science fiction out racing movie uh, but a lot more as animations go right there's a lot to animations um and uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let me give you some other recommendations those are the ones that i that i remember there were other there have been other recommendations uh through the videos that you guys have made um and i have watched read a few of those things and i didn't make notes of them so i forget what was recommended to me and which ones came through the videos uh so for all of you who are making recommendations that i watch certain shows or read certain articles or certain books and stuff like this thank you for rec your recommendations basically um because as far as i'm concerned this is sort of a two-way deal right i i produce work i share a lot of work but i also appreciate the feedback coming my way uh, because that exposes me to a lot of other things that i may not have been exposed to uh, if this didn't exist, right? So it's a two-way communication. It's P2P, basically, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and on that note, let me give you some of the recommendations. Um, as far as animation go, uh, Attack on Titan, 100%. Uh, Black Lagoon, fantastic. Uh, FLCL, I've talked to uh, Fully Cooley. I've talked to some people regarding this. Um, but I thought I'd put it out there as well. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, Death Note, I enjoyed a lot as far as anime go. Um, there's one other animation that I checked online and didn't get much love, but I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And it's um, animation um, uh, based on comic books, uh, American comic books. And the animation is Thor and Loki, uh, Blood Brothers. I sort of stumbled on this a few years ago when it first came out. It came out in 2011 and I sort of made my radar and I believe I watched it in 2012, 2013 maybe. And it's a four, uh, four episodes and it's based on a mini series that came out in 2004. I didn't notice at the time I watched it. I just looked this up before this video. Uh, the miniseries came out in 2004 and was by Robert Rohde and Aseda Robe, I guess. Um, and they ended up making this four issue, four episode animation for Thor and Loki. Um, and it's by Marvel Knights Animation. And I thought it was magnificent. I'm not sure why this thing's not getting very much love. Um, I can guess because it's not it's motion animation i guess uh, i'm not sure what the technical word for it is uh, but it's dark it's 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 epic it's brilliant uh and i highly recommend it if you like thor and if you like loki and if you like you like uh, the realm of stories being told from that realm um if you're a comic book fan for sure check out uh thor and loki uh, blood brothers okay and uh, there's uh, one other uh, recommendation I'll give. Uh, there's a few more that I've lined up to make, uh, you know, special series on, like a theme. Um, but since this one is sort of a sort of a shotgun effect, so it's scattered all over the place, uh, I'll make one other recommendation for science fiction fantasy fans, or science fiction fans. It's not fantasy, but science fiction fans, since the theme uh, of who's sort of following, I guess, is um, sort of a follow-up to the science fiction book recommendations is if you want to watch an amazing science fiction series, TV series, uh, that is absolutely brilliant. And as far as science fiction is concerned, 
it's easy to tell sci-fi stories that are based in the distant future, 100 years from now, 200, even 100 years from now, but 200 years from now, 500 years from now, right? It's easy to tell those type of science fiction stories because anything goes, right? The most difficult science fiction stories to tell are science fiction stories that are based in the immediate future in, you know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. Those are the most difficult science fiction stories to tell because you have to take into play, take into consideration technology that is available to us right now and where that's leading. Okay. So one science fiction series, TV series, uh, if you're okay with a little bit of the darker side of humanity, of, of our society, is Black Mirror. And it's a British sci-fi series. And um, there's three seasons. Uh, there's only 13 episodes. It was, I think the first season was five episodes and the second season was... Uh, four episodes or something like this but there's basically three seasons out and uh, it is absolutely magnificent and i highly recommend it it's dark uh, it's for mature audiences um, for sure i wouldn't recommend this for in the tween age right uh, high school age for sure as far as i'm, con I'm concerned uh, high school uh, depends on maturity level but i know many people in high school even the grade 8 or grade 12 whatever range or range you want to look you know consider um, and i know some high school students that that i have that i've watched this in grade 8 and grade 9 um, extremely dark extremely brilliant uh, very very important series and british sci-fi is in general uh, TV series I find them magnificent in general most of them anyway and uh, the people that created this they've created some other series as well that I watched and they're brilliant as well uh, they actually have one is a zombie one <laughs> which is fantastic um, if you're into zombie uh, post-apocalyptic um, TV series okay so Black Mirror as far as sci-fi TV series watch goes it's brilliant and again, uh, thank you for everyone for your recommendations um, for one of the previous videos we made just recently regarding science fiction fantasy uh, recommendations. Uh, Raymond Feist, Magician, Apprentice. What a great, great read. Very much looking forward to uh, savoring this, really because I do savor these books. I take my own sweet time with them, right? Uh, and read them at every chance I get. Um, so that's about it. Um, one of the reasons there's, um, the, there's sort of been a hiatus in loading up videos for the last week, couple of weeks or so, is because I'm going through these readings. So my apologies for not loading more frequently in the last couple of weeks. I've been on a reading binge. Um, but there will be more videos coming up uh, soonish. Uh, I'm just laying out some some of the videos that I want to get done, uh, and I believe the next one is going to be a math video. Um, it was a recommendation uh, that came my way, and that's come my way a fair bit uh, regarding percentages. So hopefully, uh, the next video coming up is going to be a ASMR math video on uh, percentages. Okay. Uh, but until then, um, happy reading. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.